Oh shit, I gotta watch out. That's one of those new Tesla weapons. Racist, sexist, anti-gay All across the USA All across the USA So it's a lighter leash. Now I thought I had actually come up with this myself. So this is elastic cord. So that's extra helpful. Or you can use a rubber band. And yeah, I thought I came up with this like three years ago. Did, did, did you did you uh, figure this out on your own? Uh, I think I learned. I think I just thought of like a lifeguard, like flipping a whistle at the pool. Oh, okay. You know I mean? Yeah. I just like, right, a lanyard. Yeah. That thing flies off the handle. Yeah. Think about that lifeguard. Yeah. Fly, you know what I'm talking about? Well, yeah. It's like beauty in action. It's like beauty in motion. Just, they're just like sitting there relaxing. You know what I mean? Just calmly surveying the scene. But they, that thing, it's dead. Flies off the handle. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those, I'll just, you know. Oh, yeah. Throw it out of the room. I don't need it. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It can fit up your sleeve. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. There's yeah. When I'm yeah. wearing, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'll carry like a, a, a little uh, wooden stake up my up my sleeve, nice. in cases where where uh, it's the, the, yeah, the, there's only like one what yeah there's only like one vampire. You text your neighbors, you know what I right, mean? Like, right, right. You just gotta shoot me the door. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, sit yeah, right, yeah. Sit right there on the shelf. Yeah. Close, you know, I mean, close the door with a rubber band. And just you know. Close the door with a rubber band. How's that yeah, work? Because you yeah, gotta hold the door shut because the door like swings open. Oh. But then you gotta like take it, the rubber band, it's like real tight. It's good. Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's like if, if you have like to take your tire off your rim. Yeah. It's like advice like that. It's just like. Oh! It's like, yeah. like a, uh, a counter spring. Uh, yeah, well, like, what do you call those? It's on me. And yeah. You take it, it's like, oh, it's not. You know, like, right. Right. Yeah. It could be on you though. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's that effective. Right. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Pretty effective. All right, cool, man. Cool. I'm gonna give you some money here. Eehaw! Hello there. John Boy McCracken here with a, an important message. It's no longer retrievable. I'm just impersonating him. He's he's dead. You know, it's long been a plan within masonry. Or perhaps it's some other secret brotherhood. Not sure. <clears throat> to bitchify the, the, the folks they can't control, you know. So it was at the age of seven, and I keep yeah, obsessing about this, bringing it up over and over again, as though it still has significance. I was, I was, uh, I was raped by three men purporting, you know, who, uh, you know, uh, told me they were Vietnam veterans. They showed me some, some photographic carnage of, uh, of that war. And, Gooks with their heads blown apart and and that kind of thing, you know. Human beings just lying there like dead rats. All soaked and bleached and And then there was a mm, 
There's this 1920s style cartoon, these sort of anthropomorphic animals of an indeterminate species, you know. Moving through a, a rapid series of different sex acts, you know, transmitting and receiving. And this sun would pop up, you know, that symbolizes orgasm. This happy sun would pop up, and it was just ridiculous. And on the film, it's, this image is duplicated in this big grid. So they're projecting it forward, you know. And uh, you're so close to this big screen that you can't look away. And if you do... They'll pinch you or something. Or give you a little slap. If you close your eyes, they'll, you know, they'll make you look. That's how it's done. And now I don't I don't want to describe all this deplorable technology. But you know, this is from an earlier era. I mean, it's uh, and it's still out there and this kind of thing is is being you know, it continues to, to be done as far as I know. You know. <clears throat> so they showed me um, all these, these magazine images. These pornographic um, photographs, you know. All these different women. Some were just posing nude and um, and then there were there were images of sex acts, and uh, you no, know, they had me select one. So so which which one would I be if I were a girl? They asked me, and and I had to select you know one, and I had to make a choice. I was kind of torn between two two of those images, you know, and, uh, and they said no, you have to make a choice, you know. So I picked it. I picked this sort of. Um, Sort of prideful looking young woman, and uh, she was, uh, she seemed somewhat solid, but yet, yet, yet spare and, and streamlined in a, in, a, in a sort of kind of way, you know? Well, I was just, you know, in some kind of pre adolescent way, I was attracted to her, you know? So this is the image that they, they, they showed me while they were raping me and saying, that's you, that's you, that's you. See, girls do that. And they showed me the, you know, the image of the, the, uh, the sex act, you know. And it goes on and on. I could, you know, you get the idea. So anyway... So my, my, my gender identity was, was warped through this experience. <clears throat> and they said, they told me the, 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 the best outcome possible for me that they would allow would be that I would eventually partner up with a, uh, a transgender girl. So I would I would stay a man yet 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 partner up with a uh, somebody you know a, another boy essentially who had had it worse than me. And just it's just that important. You see, I, I don't believe this 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 happens except through trauma of some kind. You know. The imposition, the, the, the purposeful imposition of, of chemicals on the developing uh, uh, fetus. Or maybe, you know, this, this certainly just happens perhaps through negligence, but, but it's been revealed, in fact, through investigation, that, um, you know, uh, uh, chemicals like BPA were, were specifically created... Uh, to um, 
to wreak havoc upon uh, uh, humanity, you know, and they have horrendous effects on uh, both uh, males and females, you know, not only of this species, but of, of other species as well, you know. These people are trying to bring about the events of Revelation. You see, you see, females are uh, more malleable. They're easier to scare, you know. They're easier to terrorize into uh, compliance. Just as a general rule, you know, and you know, there there are exceptions that uh, that make the rule, of course. So. I believe that I'm being uh, subjected to electromagnetic waves from a microwave emitter, which is a 1950s technology, a frequency modulated microwave emitter. It's just like tuning a radio. Yeah, radio, that was a, uh, a, a, an invention of Nikolai Tesla. And so was the microwave emitter. I keep saying this, I mean, they were first used on a massive scale against uh, members of the Communist Party and Communist sympathizers under the direction of J. Edgar Hoover. The FBI went out and, uh, and drove people crazy, you know. So, so maybe this will help. Uh, I was having this, this conversation with this lesbian. Uh, I, I made an advance on her and, and uh, I found out she was married and... But um, in, in talking to her, I, I, I kind of established a, a temporary uh, psychic bond, you know, as so frequently occurs, you know, with me. If I talk to somebody, you know, a brief little while, I peer into their eyes and so on. And this, this, this is, uh, you know, this facility, it's born out of... Uh, immense uh, uh, trauma, you know. That's where it comes from, really. I don't know that I was uh, especially psychic to begin with. But then again, I mean, there's some, some astrologically coded information in my birth chart. Anyhow, anyhow, so in this um, in the subsequent uh, little uh, communication that happened remotely. And I, I, I heard her talking to her, her wife, and uh, she, she was saying, um, you know, I, I think he'll, he'll, he'll make uh, some girl who can't, who can't um, come to terms with her, her sexual attraction to other women um, very happy. And, uh, of course, that's not insulting. That's, uh, I think that's neat, actually. Um, so maybe, maybe there's, you know, some possibility in that direction. So if that resonates with you at all, I mean, even, even some, some slight minor little way, I mean, 